What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be working on my turbo Mustang here. So the turbo has developed a good bit of shaft play. So my plan is to replace the entire center section. This is a pretty cheap turbo, so it's really not worth rebuilding. And the whole center section is like 180 bucks. So that's what I chose to do. Uh, I think the rebuild kit's like 50 bucks. So, you know, you could do what you want, but this is kind of a lot easier than doing a whole rebuild. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to change out your center section. So the obvious first step is getting the turbo out of the car. And as you can see, it's freaking really tight fit. <laughs> There's pretty much no room for anything here. Uh, the tubing and the turbo and everything else pretty much took up every bit of extra space that was in this engine bay. So I'm gonna have to remove a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna remove this uh, intake pipe, obviously the intake filter. Um, I might need to remove this coolant reservoir. Uh, obviously the turbo drain and feed. Um, and the, let's see, the cold side piping that's connected to the turbo and also the uh, up pipe or feed pipe to the turbo. So I finally got the turbo out. Uh, first off, I'm gonna take off this turbo blanket. Next, I'm gonna take off this uh, feed pipe, up pipe. So it's important before you start taking anything apart to either take some pictures or make some markings on your covers just so that you can make sure that your clocking is the same when you go to put everything back together. For me, I'm just taking a bunch of pictures and I kind of know exactly how it has to be for it to fit in the car. So now I'm going to remove the oil feed and the oil uh, drain plate. bolts on both sides. So my compressor housing is extra stuff because this turbo actually came with a pinched o-ring. So what I ended up doing is using some high temp RTV all around the outside just to make sure it seals up. But now the problem is 
it's really hard to get off because that RTV is kind of holding it all together. So I'm going to try to just give it a tap and see if I can get it to come apart. So now with this thing in the vise, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can actually hear it. There's a good amount of shaft play in this. And it doesn't seem like uh, anything was making contact yet, but I think it was probably pretty close. So that's why I wanted to change this out before I had a total catastrophic failure. So now I have all of the bolts out on the exhaust side. So this should just pop right out. So here is the part we're gonna be replacing. This is the center section. So I'm gonna be keeping, keeping the exhaust housing and the uh, compressor housing. All right, so here's my new center section. And basically I'm just gonna reverse all of the disassembly uh, procedure to put everything back together. I'm going to do the uh, exhaust housing first, then the uh, compressor housing, and then I'll do the drain and the feed. So I'm going to reference my, my pictures that I took from before I took it apart to make sure that everything's clocked the same way. For the compressor cover, I'm gonna put my new O-ring that came with the new center section on here. So now I won't need to use RTV because this is a new, new O-ring. All right, so O-ring is in place. Now I'm gonna carefully set down the compressor cover. Now I'm gonna carefully hold everything together and flip it over. All right, so now I have access to the bolt holes. And I can put the retainers on and the six bolts. So for mine, I know that I need uh, my outlet pointed straight down. And this is the drain, and I know I want that pointed straight down, so I know I want that clocked in this orientation. Just like anything else with a radial uh, bolt pattern, you're gonna tighten in a star pattern. So I actually need to leave this bolt out because that bolt's used for mounting. So before I tighten up the uh, exhaust side here, I'm gonna put on my oil feed and oil drain just so that I can move this out of the way uh, to bolt those on. And this center section kit did come with new gaskets, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Now I've got the both compressor covers tight the drain and the feed on. So the last thing I need to do is bolt on the uh, turbo feed pipe. Everything's back together, tightened up, so it's ready to drop back in.